How's it going everyone? Spencer Reynolds here with Fujikura Golf and welcome to our exclusive YouTube series that is all about VeloCore technology. We'll talk about materials, we'll talk about the technology itself, and we'll talk about the lines of products that it's in. All right, everyone, so we're here in our Enzo studio, Carlsbad headquarters, and I'm joined today by Andrew. Andrew heads up our product testing division as well. He's a tour representative, so he's got some great insight on both how our products perform and what happens at the highest level of the game. So we'll pick your brain a little bit. Uh, but before we get to that, let's just talk a little bit about VelaCore where we can. So essentially how it came to be, uh, how we did what we did, and, and sort of go from there. So if you look at uh, specifically players in your arena, right? So the higher ball speed players, PGA Tour, uh, Corn Ferry Tour, things like that. We see an increase in speed that continually goes up year after year after year. So if we rewind the clock back to about 2018, we first brought out original Ventus Blue. Uh, the idea was to create a part that would hold up to the most aggressive swings of the golf ball and still maintain a lot of feel. And when we look at traditional ways of designing a shaft, we can do that through, you know, different ply configurations. We can talk about hoop strength. We can talk about, you know, kind of the more technical side of shaft development. But ultimately what we're trying to do is, is a shaft that maintains its form and its shape throughout the swing, regardless of the speed, and gives players sort of maximum performance through the ball and an impact. Um, so that's, when we talk about VeloCore, it's that sort of recipe of, of ultra high modulus materials to run the full length of the shaft to give us a very consistent part. And from there, we can build different bend profiles on top of that sort of platform for stability. So what are some of the things when you look at just even original Ventus in testing uh, that you see that sort of platform does as far as benefits for players? Yeah, so, you know, obviously we get really, really good speeds off the center to face, but the big thing for us with VelaCore is, is performance on miss hits. Yeah. So anything off the toe, anything off the heel, even though you know they're professionals, they're still gonna miss hit it here and there. Sure. Um, and we're seeing redu reduction in twisting. Um, we're seeing faster ball speeds off the toe and off the heel. And so in terms of dispersion as well, it's just tighter than, than any competitor product that we tested against. And so um, we're getting faster ball speed, better dispersion, um, across the entire face. And so do you see that translate all the way down? And by that, I mean, you're talking about the best players in the world and, and kind of the future generation of the best players in the world. Is that beneficial to amateur golfers as well? Do you see the same sort of performance benefits? Yeah, 100%. I mean, we hit it not off the center of the face more often than pros do, obviously. And so right. if anything, we need VelaCore more than they do. <laughs> and so with just the performance benefits there of us not hitting the center all the time, um, you know, we get that same exact benefit as well. So one of the best things about VelaCourt technology, especially uh, for players that don't always hit the center of the club face, is you're maximizing performance on everything that's even off center Correct. without really sacrificing anything for on center, right? So we're not we're not making an overall, you know, more consistent shaft that really is only better on miss hits or only better on on center shots. It's across the entire club face. Correct. Wow. Uh, it's pretty innovative and we've seen it prove out. And when we look at the, the parts we've integrated this technology into, um, I think one of the longevity pieces of Ventus is the key technology that's in it. And, and what we see definitely through testing and through fitting is that um, if the shaft didn't perform at the highest level for all players, I think we would have seen sort of a, a drop off in the shaft. And we've seen the opposite of that. We've seen an uptick in the shaft consistently, um, both in the amateur market, the aftermarket, but on tour as well. I mean, you can speak to the fact that we see Ventus um, prominently featured on, on multiple global tours every single week. Uh, we see a lot of them in the winner's bags on Sundays, which, you know, got to make you feel good as a tour rep. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's really cool to hear that the technology that's inside this part uh, really applies to every golfer at every speed. And uh, as one of the testaments to what we do at Fujikura, it's all about innovation, but it's all about innovation that makes players better. Uh, so it's really cool to hear that's what you see on your end as well. Hi everyone, my name is Danny. I am the head of engineering here at Fujikura, uh, coming to you from our R&D facility. Uh, so this is where we take all the ideas we come up with and we go ahead and we build them so we can test them later on. Uh, so I wanna talk a little bit today about VelaCore and how we came, came to develop it. And it really all starts with material selection. Uh, so as materials continue to advance more and more, I mean, back in the day, putting carbon in a golf shaft was a novel idea. Um, and now we're talking about 1K weaves, we're talking about braided materials, pitch fibers, 
all that good stuff. And so material has really come a long way. Um, and we wanted to be able to put that into a premium golf shaft to really get a really stable part. And so um, we took some of these advanced materials, built them in the back of this lab here, and then took them to Enzo to test to see if our ideas would work in reality. Um, and sure enough, they did. I mean, we're able to run through countless tests, countless Enzo tests, uh, looking at different bend profiles, looking at different how torsion will affect it, and all that good stuff to really narrow in on what now is known as Vila Core.